New from us right now at 10, expectant mothers across the Monroeville area forced to say an emotional goodbye to the only labor and delivery department in the entire county. And this is really part of a trend a lot of rural hospitals in Alabama are facing, including another maternity ward in Shelby County. Either close the department or close the doors. Fox the News, Lacey Beasley now joining us here in studio. And Lacey, you've been keeping up with a lot of expecting moms, and they say it's sad to see this happen in Monroe County. Yeah, that's right, Lenise and Byron. Some of the women I talked to are now having to drive about 100 miles to give birth. Well, tonight I talked to one expecting mother whose due date is five weeks away. Her high-risk pregnancy has her urgently praying for a safe delivery an hour and a half away from home. It's the much dreaded day many expecting mothers near Monroeville hoped would never come. Tonight, the Labor and Delivery Department of the Monroe County Hospital is permanently closing. Alicia Bowen is one of nearly 100 expecting mothers who had a six-week heads up to change birthing plans. Her due date is quickly approaching at the end of December, and now she will have to travel 90 miles to get to University Hospital in Mobile. We've heard that ambulances can take up to two hours uh, to transfer someone from our hospital and all it takes is a foggy night in December for uh, the life light to not be able to fly. So we will need to rely on our emergency room and there's just a lot of fear about what happens after today. Bowen says disappointment has been looming in Monroe County since the sudden announcement in September. She says many have felt helpless and there wasn't much the community could do to stop it. Shocked, disappointed, um, especially in our local leadership and um, ultimately dismayed for the women who do not have my resources, um, for the women who will struggle to to travel. Um, I, I worry for the women who do not have transportation and already struggle to get to Monroeville. Now she hopes other important branches of the hospital won't see the same outcome. While we're starting with labor and delivery now, that we don't close other vital services in our rural area. And according to the Monroe County Hospital, the Labor and Delivery Department lost $973,000 in 2022, and 75% of their births were Medicaid. They tell us the closure comes because of a lack of insurance and a doctor shortage. They say, quote, we make decisions every day to ma maintain the sustainability of the hospital. It is our responsibility to make sure the hospital stays open and in considering the greater good, sometimes hard decisions must be made. Reporting live in studio, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.